Dominic again doing a repeat of yesterday's video to show us in high speed how this amazing toilet works. So this is a uh, replacement for a pit latrine or replacement for any um, school type toilets and what have you that are smelly and what have you. It's a water based toilet so it's very clean, very hygienic, there are no smells. So the users have this for, as opposed to a flush, you just clean the bowl, small squirt of water like that and wash all of your business uh, down the toilet. Down so the, the toilet, okay. So the whole building is made of plastic as well, recycled plastic, so that it is easy to wash down and easy to clean, long lasting. Okay, let's go now to see where all of that goes. So we're just walking around. Now we're at behind the toilet. Okay, so Dominic, show us where does all that stuff from the toilet go? So it all comes down. There's a pipe running directly underneath the toilet. Just, just stop. I'm just wondering. So it runs through this pipe down here. It runs down the pipe into the, this is the separator. So this first chamber will separate all of the solids from the plastics. Um, the so water and the solids will go down into the first stage of the digester. The plastics and all will accumulate in here. Uh, it's completely sealed, it's airtight, creating an anaerobic environment, so you don't get any uh, smells or anything esca escaping. And also the pipe going into it goes subsurface, so there's nowhere that air can flow back in, back up to the toilet, or uh, flies or anything can get in there. There's, there's no, there's no... And tell me about this orange thing with the kind of um, grey thing on top of it. So in case you have any kind of uh, blockage between the two the separator and the digester, we have a plunger tube. So it's purely for, all you do is you use a normal sink plunger and you just plunge it up and down. You make the air move and that moves the liquid and will move any solids that are that are causing any blockage. So that's not a breather pipe, it's a plunger tube. It's a plunger tube. Now you have yes. another water tank here. Yes. So this is where, this is the first tank. This is the hydrolysis stage. This is where the solids literally liquefy. They turn all of your poop that turns to, to water. All of the paper completely disintegrates. All the toilet paper and everything? Yeah. What if you use newspaper? newspaper? Yeah, newspaper is fine. It will disintegrate. Okay. Um, uh, you don't, of course, you don't want to use plastics and things like those. Those won't. Uh, even, okay. even the, the plastic bags, the new soft pa plastic bags people are using, will hopefully they'll get trapped on this side. Okay. So, so all... we go down. So it moves to this tank. Again, another plunger. Then there's another tank. How big are these tanks? These are 500 liters. This system is designed to handle about 30 people per day. So these, this is a total of a two cubic meter digester plus the, plus the separator. So there are four tanks plus the separator. So it's a five stage system. And they're literally just a meter away from the actual toilet. Okay. Yeah, they can be quite far. They can, provided they're downhill, gravity can carry the poop down to the, down to it. It doesn't matter, really matter where it is, provided you've got gravity. You don't want any pumping, anything mechanized to okay. try and move the poop. And then it just goes from one stage to the next stage. So what goes into there has to go into here, and then this has to go into there, and this has to go into there. So you're never going to get a situation where fresh poop is getting to the last chamber. So this is the last chamber, which yeah. is that one, the light blue one. Yeah. Okay, so what's in there now? It's the this last where, chamber. The last chamber. This is where you have the... Uh, this is biofertilizer. It's very liquid. Um, as you can see, there's no solids in here at all. There are mosquitoes in here, which shows you that it is cleanish. Uh, it doesn't polar. smell. It doesn't smell. It's got a slightly earthy smell, but it's not poopy at all. Um, and, uh, and where does that nutrients. go? Okay. So you don't want these nutrients to end up in groundwater in, uh, in rivers and lakes and causing the algal blooms and the water hyacinth issues. You want these nutrients to go back into so topsoil so that plants can uptake it again. So we're running it over over to the end of the section, runs into a lateral French drain along the top. Okay, so and the so, French drain is underground, you can't see it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a pipe with holes in it, a, a big four inch pipe with holes in it about every foot apart, quite big holes. So it's a seepage, it's like a, a soak, but it's a lateral soak. And I don't know why it's called French drain, but it, 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 it basically soaks away, but it soaks away at the surface level. So all of the vegetation on the top will suck up those nutrients before they can end up being leached away by rain. That's why we have such a water. lush hedge here. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. And the cost of this? A system this sort of size is about 80,000. 
Um, smaller systems would be less, like the Mary Lou, which is a, at a domestic level. It's a much smaller unit than this. And then, of course, you have much, much larger. So it all depends on how many people are going to be going on a daily basis. So okay. we, you, so you, then we can scale it to suit the numbers of people. How long will it last? Oh, forever. The, the tanks are, 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 are UV-resistant water tanks. They're rotomol tanks. They're made of HDP um, uh, material, so they're going to last forever. The system never needs discharging. By, uh, it never fills up, so it never needs discharging uh, via um, uh, honey suckers or, or what you call exhausters. If for any reason the outlet does get blocked by roots or what have you, just connect another one because it's, it's on the surface. So you can just dig another trench, lay another pipe, and have your, mm -hmm. your, your, your irrigation going in another direction. Super. Great. Great. So permanent toilet. Fantastic. Thank you. Welcome.